In this video, I'm going to show you how you can flip and rotate images in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips. So please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can flip and rotate images in Photoshop. So I have an image here of a beach that I'd like to flip around because I'd like to have everything like this big rock formation on the left instead of the right. There's a quick way to do this, which is to go up to image and then go down to image rotation. And then from there, you'll see there's a small list of options to choose from. You can flip the image 180 degrees, which will turn the image upside down. And then there's 90 degrees clockwise, which will flip the image vertical. And then 90 degrees counterclockwise, which will also flip it vertical, but in the opposite direction. And then with arbitrary, you can actually type in and choose the degree that you want to flip it. So I'll type in 45 degrees, and then you'll see that the image has been flipped sideways. Then if you want to just quickly flip the image horizontally or vertically, there's two options for that at the very bottom. So with horizontal, I was able to quickly flip the image, and now those large rocks that were on the right are now on the left instead. But for now, I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that, because now I want to show you the next thing. But let's say that I want to just flip one part of the image that I have on a separate layer. I've gone ahead and created an extra smaller rock formation in the water, and this isolated rock formation has its own layer. I don't want the entire image to flip with it, I just want this one rock formation to flip. So I'm going to go up to edit this time, and then I'm going to go down to transform, and then the same options as before should show up, only this time the rotations will only affect the layer that I have selected. So I just want to flip the layer horizontally, so I'm going to choose flip horizontal. And now my layer element has been flipped around, but the rest of the image remains the same. The next thing I want to show you is a way to manually adjust the rotation of an image. So I'm going to select the same layer with a rock formation in it, because this time I want to manually rotate it around. Next I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command T, and then an outline of the image should appear. Now if I hover next to any of the points with the white squares, you'll see that my mouse cursor has two arching arrows pointing in different directions. That means that I can now move this image layer around by left clicking and holding down the mouse and then dragging the image around to where I want it to be. I can also hover my mouse directly over top of the white square and then the cursor will change to up and down arrows going in different directions. This means when I hold down the left click, I can scale the image to be larger or smaller by dragging my mouse. I really love this transformation tool because it comes in handy for quickly moving images around and resizing them without having to go up into the control panel somewhere. So that's how you can flip and rotate images in Photoshop. What other issues are you guys having with transforming images? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share this with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and visit my Twitter page at Scott E. Fowler. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.